Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Today, I want y'all to just be with me while I'm fixing our lunch. Now, we normally have our uh, large meal of the day uh, right, you know, at around maybe 1, 2 o'clock. And um, so today, we're going to have some, uh, we'll call it smothered chicken tenders. It's really just like smothered chicken but you do have to fry it out first. So what I'm going to use are some chicken tenders that I froze, oh, it's been over a month ago now. Got them on sale. This is Fieldale chicken that I've gotten from Bilo. So what I do, they were frozen in this little pack, and when I'm thawing them out, I just um, open it up and pour some buttermilk in and let them finish thawing out in the buttermilk. So they soaked in this buttermilk probably a couple of hours and I don't know why I do it that way my mother did it that way I don't remember how grandmother did hers but I just do it that way all right so we're going to have the smothered chicken tenders and we're also going to have some carrots now oh, I don't know if y'all are like me I don't like carrots I really don't I like them in a roast when they're um, you know baked and they kind of get sweeter but these, I'm going to just steam them. And to make myself like them, I have fixed them with some apples. Now, I cut the, the I'm just using two kind of medium-sized carrots. So I cut the carrot in half, and then I cut it lengthwise in half, and then I kind of quarter it. So I've got, let me turn this down, I've got the two carrots in here, and I peeled um, a Honeycrisp apple, sort of cut that thin and here's what I'm going to do now y'all don't judge me because I have to do something so I'll eat carrots I'm going to put some cinnamon in just a couple of little dashes of cinnamon a little dash of uh, ground nutmeg a couple little dashes of ground ginger I know this sounds like an apple pie I know but I've got to do something so I'll eat carrots because they're very good for you. All right, so I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of just light brown, there you go, light brown sugar. And I'm just going to add some water. And since we're trying to be really, really healthy, I'm going to pour in just a little bit of the coconut oil. Now the coconut oil it does not taste like coconut. It just it really doesn't have any taste at all that I can tell. But they now found out that this is good for you. And your body does digest it in a different way. You can find this right on the shelf where the Crisco and oils are in Walmart. All right, so now we're just going to add a little bit of water to this. Not much. I'm going to put just a couple of dashes of salt in there. I'm going to put it on to cook. Let's put the lid on it. All right. Now, the other thing we're going to have today is going to be some of those green beans from Aldi's. I mean, I love them. I mean, I just love them any which way they're cooked. But today, we're just going to steam them. And I'm going to, again, use just a little bit of the, the coconut oil. And here they are. These are Aldi's brand, and someone wrote in and I think said you could get them. I can't remember if it was Kroger's or Publix, but, but uh, the only place I have found them is Aldi. But here's what I wanted to show you. This was quite a shock. Can you all see that? Product of France. Who would have known? I wouldn't have. I, of course, I never really looked at that part of the package. But anyway, they're a product of uh, France. So anyway, we're ready to uh, go ahead and start the uh, chicken. The first thing we'll have to do is brown it, of course. Now I've also got some jasmine rice. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and get that, get that rice ready. And we're not going to put our beans on until we start making the gravy for the smothered um, chicken tenders. All right, so now this is really, really simple. Now, if I were fixing fried chicken. Now somebody asked me the other day, did I have a recipe for fried chicken? 
I tend to not put a lot of seasoning on the chicken when I, you know, when I'm doing fried chicken, and, and I can't even remember the last time we had fried chicken. I, I really can't. But we do get use the uh, chicken tenders, and uh, also use the uh, just the fillets of chicken sometimes. All right. So first thing we're going to do is put some all-purpose flour out. And I've already got my burner on. Might as well put it on high to get it good and hot to start with. And I'm simply going to take the, the little chicken tenders out of the plastic bag and just put them in some flour and then we're going to fry them. Spread that flour out a little bit. And I did use the uh, whole buttermilk for this. And I don't really know what the buttermilk does for the chicken, but it just makes it taste really good. I'm not sure why. Maybe some of y'all know why. I just have done it this way and just keep doing it this way and never really thought to say, well, why do we do this, you know? I know that when you fix wild game, you end up, um, you, I think you soak it in buttermilk or a vinegar solution to get that wild taste out of it. I'm not really sure. Maybe some of y'all know. Anyway, I'm going to dump that down the drain. All right, now we're ready to put that flour over that. Now, I try to only mess up one hand when I'm doing this. So I'm just going to spread that flour on those chicken tenders, kind of mash it into them. And I'm going to also fry this in the coconut oil. Now, this one says a refined for medium high heat. Y'all see that on the bottom right there? Anyway, I have never bought any other kind, so I'm not like an expert. But I will have to give, I uh, hope she doesn't mind that I use her name. Uh, Kim Belcher is one of my subscribers, and she was telling me about the, uh, the coconut oil and gave me a couple of uh, places where I could read about it. And um, what, she, what Kim didn't know is I had already watched the Green Garden Diva. Y'all need to look at her channel when she starts making all those vegetables and red cabbage and what else? Uh, the uh, purple sweet potatoes. Oh boy, I, I mean, I haven't found those yet, but I'm gonna find them and I'm gonna make one of those sweet potato pies with that purple sweet potato. Anyway, those two ladies, uh, well, the uh, Green Garden Diva just cooks with the, the coconut oil or the olive oil. And uh, she's a vegetarian. Now, she's, she's a vegan, and she doesn't know she's a vegan. She's, she, she's a vegan. She doesn't eat any kind of animal products at all, ever. And I'm sure she's very, very healthy. But anyway, so Kim was telling me about the coconut oil, too. So as it turned out, when Kim was telling me about it, I had already bought some at uh, Walmart, so I was good to go. And I'll have to agree with both of the ladies. It cooks wonderful. It doesn't add any, uh, what I can tell, any real taste uh, to what you cook it in or what you put, you know, when you put coconut milk in anything, I mean coconut oil in anything. It just uh, enhances the taste of whatever you're cooking. All right, so our skillet is about good and hot now. So I'm going to turn it down to sort of a medium low. And I've been flouring my chicken while, chicken while I've been talking. And so we're just going to put that in and let it get brown in this coconut oil. I hope y'all will try that. I've, I've been mentioning the coconut oil for quite some time. You might want to look it up on the internet and see what everybody's saying about it. Now, you know Walmart's in touch with this, or they would have never uh, started carrying it, because used to, in the 1950s, the uh, carrots and apples are boiling. Um, you didn't, um, you didn't want to use like palm oil, uh, hydrogenated whatever, and it was, it was bad for you. So then 
so for the next like 30 years and nobody used it. But then finally people started saying, wait a minute, there are all these healthy people in the world and all they ever use is a coconut oil, you know? So maybe we better take another look at it. So one of the things it does is uh, your body digests it in a different way than regular oils. It is, um, I, don't, I think it just goes through your liver somehow in a different way. Anyway, I read up on it. I mean, I didn't just take somebody else's word for it. I, I read up on it, and I agree with these two ladies. I think it's a very, very healthy oil to use. Now, to me, it's kind of expensive. It's more expensive than, you know, regular canola oil would be. But uh, anyway, all right, we're going to get all this stuff going. As soon as this chicken is good and browned on both sides, uh, we'll be back and I'll show you how I do the little uh, gravy on it. All right, back in a few minutes. Okay, my chicken has uh, browned pretty well, and I'm going to take it up. Now, it's not completely done. All I wanted to do was brown it because it's going to finish cooking in the gravy. So let's see, we've got six. Yeah, two, four, six of these little chicken tenders. All right, now we're going to have to show you what they look like. Just browned a little bit. Now I'm going to have to add a little more of the coconut oil into the skillet. Maybe a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to add the flour, and this is just like gravy. Stir that around. Now I want my flour only slightly cooked. In other words, I'm not going to brown it like I would with uh, beef gravy. And all those little bits will come up off the bottom of the pan once the water is added. gonna let that get a little bit brown and we'll be back. Okay we've got our flour just ever the slightest bit brown and now I'm gonna add in and I've chopped these in my little uh, Vidalia Chop Wizard. They're red bell peppers and these are definitely the last of my red peppers. These are frozen the, the date on the package was December the 20th, 2012. So this works out to be about a cup. Now, if you can't uh, use uh, red bell peppers, then uh, you know one of those kind of big jars of pimentos would work too. That's what I used to use. And all you have to do is just dump them in. Uh, juice and all if you're using those uh, canned pimentos. All right, so just gonna dump them in. Stir them around a little bit, right on top of that flour and oil. All right. I'm going to add three cups of water. Now that's going to cause all those little brown bits to come up off the bottom of the skillet. So just stir that around, turn it, turn the burner up, let it get up on high. In fact, I need my little metal spatula. Make sure nothing's on the bottom there. Now the breading on the chicken tenders is going to end up making this uh, gravy even thicker than what the flour is that I put in there. I gotta start timing my little beans. They just started boiling. So I'm gonna cook them for like 10 minutes. Now the only thing I'm gonna put in my beans, in fact I'm gonna go ahead and put that in now, is just some sea salt. 
because these little beans taste so good, you know, you just don't even want to hurt them with any kind of oil. Alright, I'm just going to wait for this to come up to a boil and we'll be right back. Okay, my little uh, gravy has come up to a boil now. And I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken tenders back in. And let them just simmer for about 20 minutes with the lid on. And they should all be done. The peppers will be done. And we'll be ready to eat. So my rice is already done. And the uh, green beans will be done shortly. And we're not serving bread with this because we've got the rice. Alright, so I'm going to cut this down let it just simmer. With the lid on. Alright, so once this is all ready, we'll be back. Okay, the chicken tenders have been cooking, uh, simmering along for about 20 minutes and they're all ready. So we are ready to eat. There's the carrots and uh, the little honey crisp apples. Smells like carrot cake, I'll have to tell you. Rice, the green beans, and we are ready to eat. So I'm going to dish this all up and we'll give you a look at it then. Be right back. Okay, we are ready to eat. There are the chicken tenders. My husband's plate's got three on it. My plate's got two on it. And there was enough to make an extra little um, plate that I will freeze. And so one of us can have chicken tenders. So that would be one serving right there. There are the green beans. They've only got salt on them and just steamed. Carrots and uh, honey crisp apples with some spices in there. And of course the jasmine rice with some of that little gravy on there. And we've got our iced tea. All right, we are ready to eat. Let me give you a little close-up of the chicken. So I just simmered it for about 20 minutes. And that got the peppers all cooked. And the uh, chicken finished cooking. All right, so there it is. And there's that extra. So I feel very frugal today and also healthy because I used the coconut oil. All right, we will see y'all next time.